our main proposition that we sort of bring to market is a secure connected vehicle solution. Um, so that encompasses the hardware to go inside a, a road vehicle or a micro mobility uh, device like an e scooter or an e bike, um, the embedded software to run. Um, some algorithms at the edge to reduce the amount of data that we want to send and then uh, a cloud platform and, some, uh, and a cellular data channel to send the data up to the cloud, do some cleaning and some processing and then make that available to OEMs and vehicle manufacturers so they can understand how their vehicle is being used. Um, we have a bunch of other features as well including um, over the air software update so we can deliver data the other way from the cloud down to the vehicle um, uh, and that allows us to not only uh, update the software on our device, but also other devices connected via CAN, CAN or Ethernet on the, on the vehicle network. When we founded the company in 2020, we were lucky enough to get onto a, uh, a scale-up program, which was launched by Zenzik, um, and so that funded some of the compliance testing for our hardware. So we, we came here to Millbrook and we tested on the, uh, the high-speed ring to ensure that our, our, our software and our hardware worked as intended, and we went through the RF testing and the electrical testing that the automotive industry requires. Through a, a number of like networking events, we met some OEMs and started working with the R&D teams of those OEMs to get into kind of low-volume prototype projects with them. Um, at the same time, we realised that you know the barriers to entry into the automotive industry are pretty great, um, and so we found some um, some uh, opportunities in micro mobility uh, because the the regulatory barriers are slightly lower. Um, and the volumes can be slightly smaller. So we, um, we got into uh, two EV micromobility projects um, and produced this kind of smaller form factor hardware. Um, th this one, which is a kind of retrofit into a, d into a vehicle, and this one, which is embedded into the seat post of the, um, of the bike or the scooter. Um, and so we've managed to get a bit of fleet rollout with micromobility customers before we've managed to reach kind of fleet scale on the automotive side. We realise that um, connected vehicles um, are, are believed to be a solved problem for today. So a lot of vehicles have um, basic connectivity via cellular. But um, uh, we've really seen through like benchmarking and talking to customers that, that the big problems are um, performance, so the latency uh, between the mobile app, the cloud, and, and the um, vehicle is, is too great, so users get frustrated. But also the cybersecurity guarantees that those kinds of systems bring aren't what uh, sort of modern day connected vehicles um, require. So the Auto Cherry project is um, a, uh, a research project that we're doing alongside some partners um, from academia and enterprise, um, part funded by Innovate UK. Um, and that is to take uh, a chip innovation called Cherry, which is a new uh, instruction set for CPUs, and deploy that onto an automotive environment and understand the performance and the security benefits that brings. So this is our, our second year at Senex. So um, when we came last year, that was our first year at a paid conference. Um, and we thought we would take the, take the dive because we heard that um, the uh, customer base that we're trying to hit are there. Um, and there were a lot of partnership opportunities with other companies, um, both small and, and large. So um, we came last year and uh, had a kind of initial foray into, into conferences um, and then returned this year because we had such a, uh, there was such a good impact of attending last year's conference, we got leads, we, we made new partnerships, um, and so we thought this year was a great opportunity to really sort of showcase both what we're doing uh, as a company on our core product, but also the Auto Cherry project.